Brown eyes, the oldest color in human history, and still the most common. They're not just dark for beauty's sake. They're armor. Packed with melanin, brown irises act like built-in sunglasses, absorbing sunlight and scattering glare before it ever hits the retina. For early humans hunting under the brutal African sun, that pigment meant survival, clearer vision, fewer burns, and protection from UV damage long before sunglasses existed. Even today, over 70% of the world's population carries that same genetic legacy. Under daylight, brown eyes look steady and deep, but catch them in candlelight, and they flash gold, revealing tiny rivers of pigment under the surface. They don't shimmer for show. They shimmer from strength. Brown eyes are nature's default, practical, powerful, eternal. But when sunlight faded and winters grew long, evolution flipped the script, and blue eyes were born from darkness. Blue eyes? Blue eyes weren't painted by pigment. They were carved by light. Unlike brown, blue irises have almost no melanin. Their color comes from Rayleigh scattering, the same optical trick that makes the sky look blue. Light enters, short blue wavelengths bounce back, and suddenly an iris turns into a piece of atmosphere. This mutation appeared only 6,000 to 10,000 years ago. A single ancestor whose genes spread across northern Europe, where sunlight was weak and winters long. Less pigment meant more light could enter the eye, improving vision in dim environments. Blue eyes shift color like water, pale under cloud, electric in sun, icy under moonlight. They don't block much UV, but they mesmerize. What began as a survival tool became a symbol of rarity, beauty, and mystery. They're fragile, luminous, and born from shadow. But between the darkness of brown and the chill of blue, evolution mixed its palette and created the rarest compromise, green eyes. Green eyes. Green eyes are chemistry's perfect middle ground, a blend of pigment and light that shouldn't exist, yet does. They carry just enough melanin to darken the iris, plus a yellow pigment called lipochrome that bends and filters incoming light. The result? A hue that shifts between forest and gold, depending on the world around it. Only about 2% of humans have green eyes, they're not a single pigment, but a phenomenon. Too much melanin, and they turn brown. Too little, and they fade blue. It's the most unstable shade in the human spectrum, a living gradient. This delicate balance may have helped early humans in forests and mountains, regions where sunlight flickers through shadow. Green eyes adapted to variety, thriving where light was never constant. They're rare, changeable, and hypnotic. But evolution didn't stop there. Some eyes learn to shift colors entirely, changing from green to gold to brown with every glance. Hazel eyes. Hazel eyes. Hazel eyes are the chameleons of the human spectrum, constantly shifting from green to gold to brown, depending on light, angle, and emotion. Their secret lies in balance, medium levels of melanin combined with traces of lipochrome, the same golden pigment that gives green eyes their warmth. Instead of a fixed color, hazel eyes create a live performance. Under sunlight, they flare amber and gold. In shadow, they deepen to moss or bronze. It's not an illusion. It's physics. The iris scatters and absorbs light differently across layers like shifting glass. This adaptability once had real survival value. Hazel eyes handled both sun and shade, thriving in places where light was unpredictable. Forests, valleys, changing seasons. They don't just reflect the environment, they respond to it. Hazel eyes are nature's mood ring, dynamic, mysterious, alive. But some eyes don't change at all. They burn gold, no matter the light, the rarest constant of all. Amber eyes. Amber eyes. Amber eyes look forged, not born, golden, copper, almost metallic. They owe their glow to lipochrome, the yellow pigment that overwhelms melanin, creating a rich, honey-like tone that never changes, no matter the light. Unlike hazel, amber eyes don't shift. They burn steady, like molten sunlight trapped behind glass. This rare color, found in less than 5% of people, often appears in those of Southern European, Asian, or South American descent. It's also the same pigment seen in wolves and owls, which might explain why amber eyes feel instinctively wild, intense, and magnetic. 
Functionally, they offer moderate light protection, but evolution likely kept them for another reason, visual signaling. Their brightness stands out in any crowd, catching attention before a word is spoken. Amber eyes are not camouflage, they are declaration, but where amber glows like fire, some eyes turn cold as steel, reflecting storms instead of sunlight. Gray eyes. Gray eyes. Gray eyes are the quietest color in the human spectrum, soft, cold, and unreadable. They contain even less melanin than blue eyes, so light doesn't just scatter blue wavelengths. It disperses across the entire visible range, creating a muted, silvery tone that shifts with the world around it. In low light, gray eyes seem almost blue. Under sunlight, they flash with flecks of green or silver, reflecting everything but revealing nothing. This adaptability once offered a subtle advantage in northern overcast climates, where amplifying every photon of light meant sharper sight and survival in endless twilight. Culturally, gray eyes have become symbols of calm and mystery, cool, steady, impossible to read. They don't glow like blue or burn like amber. They observe, reflect, and endure. They're the storm before silence. But if gray eyes reflect the sky, one color swallows it whole. Black eyes, the deepest illusion of all. Black eyes. Black eyes aren't truly black. They're the darkest shade of brown, saturated with so much melanin that light barely escapes. Instead of reflecting, they absorb nearly everything, creating the illusion of infinite depth. It's like staring into polished stone or the surface of still water at night. That high pigment density is more than beauty. It's protection. In equatorial regions where sunlight blazed year-round, dark eyes shielded early humans from glare and UV damage. The result was perfect stability. Black eyes don't change under light, don't shimmer, and never betray what they're seeing. They're the most common eye color in Asia, Africa, and South America, and yet also the most overlooked. In that uniform darkness lies strength, endurance, and mystery. Black eyes don't just see the world, they absorb it. But sometimes nature doesn't choose just one color. It splits the difference, one iris blue, the other brown. Heterochromia. Heterochromia. Heterochromia is nature's glitch. Two eyes, two colors, one face. Sometimes the difference is subtle, like flecks of gold in blue. Other times, it's striking. One iris light, the other dark. But this isn't just a random aesthetic. It's the result of tiny changes in pigment distribution during early development. Most people's eyes share an even balance of melanin. In heterochromia, that symmetry is broken by a gene mutation, a mosaic of cells, or, occasionally, an injury that disrupts pigment flow. Despite its dramatic look, it's almost always harmless, with no effect on vision. Less than 1% of humans have it, but it fascinates us because it defies expectation. The face becomes asymmetrical, unpredictable, unique. It feels otherworldly because our brains crave balance, and heterochromia breaks that pattern beautifully. Two eyes, two stories, one person. And together, all these shades tell the same ancient truth. Every color is evolution written in light. See in the next video. If the human body were a nation, the brain would be the government, the military, and the communications network all at once. 